Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 11th of December comes to you from London. We start by looking at the dollar. Uh, dollar still sitting above the cloud on the medium term chart, down slightly this morning, but uh, looking stronger all the time as we make this uh, transition to uh, medium term bullish. Of course, the key thing is that we take out this high of around 95 um, on the dollar index and that would... Um, confirm uh, the higher low and then the higher high so um, quite key that the euro recovering this morning um, short term just coming back above the cloud but uh, not on the lagging line yet and we are just poking through on the medium term so we're on a bit of a knife edge here in terms of what's happening with the euro versus the dollar uh, and looking at the Japanese yen we're seeing here dollar strengthening still um, bullish above the cloud on all three time frames so this is confirming really the dollar transition uh, sterling uh, is also um, we're seeing here um, just moving back below the cloud, so just looking a little bit weaker this morning, uh, as is uh, sterling against uh, the uh, euro as well. So we're just seeing uh, sterling coming back a little bit there. Against the Swiss franc, we're seeing also um, that we're coming back um, as well. Uh, and Australian dollar, we're seeing sterling just weakening here. So that's the theme really on sterling, just seeing that uh, struggling. Uh, Bitcoin, of course, is the, the big news. Uh, can we break to a, a higher high? We see here on the um, on the 60 minute cloud, uh, how we're just nudging that high that we saw last week. Um, this is a stellar chart. And of course, um, the futures have just started trading the CBOT uh, futures. So here we see the uh, CBOT future overlaid with the, uh, the Bitcoin price. So a bit more volatility showing in the futures, but this is actually uh, driving more interest in a surge in Bitcoin. So um, their story is not going to go away anytime soon. Taking a look at the S&P 500, um, <clears throat> not as strong a week last week, but we are still looking bullish on all three time frames. NASDAQ just starting to get back above the cloud, uh, so uh, looking a little bit better there. Dow Jones also um, looking a bit better, bullish above the cloud, and the Russell 2000 just recovering as well. Uh, the future, the S&P future, also recovering and back above the cloud, and the Nasdaq E-mini up 0.2%, so maybe we'll see Nasdaq just going a little bit higher today. Uh, FTSE 100 recovering quite strongly, weaker pound uh, helping there, so we are back above the cloud in the short term, uh, but really 2017, we've been really in the doldrums and the FTSE hasn't gone anywhere. And the same true, really, of the FTSE 250 has barely moved in the air. Uh, the DAX uh, looking stronger this morning, back above the cloud. The Nikkei also looking bullish, back above the cloud. And the Hang Seng recovering, but still bearish on the short-term chart. And Shanghai, much the same picture as we might expect. A little bounce here on the uh, lagging line on the cloud, so maybe we're seeing just a little recovery there. And the Sensex, the Indian market, just coming through to return to... Um, short-term bullish and if we look at the, uh, the Australian index uh, also looking a bit stronger back above the cloud there as well Brent crude sitting at 63.19 we're into uh, bullish territory again on Brent uh, so that's good news and WTI we are seeing also um, just looking uh, bullish above the cloud uh, again but really just not trending at the moment so crude oil is recovering but uh, not yet um, showing strong signs and a lack of upside targets and we're seeing on US nat gas sitting in the 280s just bearish again a real seesaw year for nat gas really for the last 18 months US nat gas has just not gone anywhere three dollars is the is the price uh, gold up very slightly this morning but still bearish below the cloud the same with uh, uh, the silver price uh, and if we look at uh, U.S. Treasury yields, uh, sitting at about 2.38%, uh, so um, just sitting there, but bullish above the cloud on all three time frames. Apple um, just struggling to get back above the cloud, so still looking a bit bearish short term. Google actually did recover on Friday. Amazon also recovering, but not quite back above the cloud. Facebook looking stronger, sitting at 179 to get back above the 180 level at one point. And Microsoft also recovering quite sharply on Friday, so looking better. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.